I was born in Korea, and my parents emigrated with me when I was one and a half years old. Uh, and uh, we moved to New York, um, and we lived there for about eight, nine years. My brother was born there, and then uh, we moved to Pennsylvania outside of Philadelphia. My dad was a doctor, and he got uh, a job at a hospital uh, in a town called Easton. And so we moved there, and my sister was born there, uh, and I finished out high school in Easton, Pennsylvania. I remember, uh, you know, it was very notable to me when I would see an Asian face on screen when I was growing up. Uh, and it never really occurred to me how few there were until I saw one. You know, when I saw George Takei on Star Trek or when I saw Bruce Lee in the movie theaters, it was, it was as if I didn't realize that there was a whole other world out there of people and color and ethnicity uh, because I had spent so much time trying to assimilate trying to lose my Korean accent because I spoke Korean as my first language. So seeing those guys uh, were, it was, it was pretty remarkable in a lot of ways. And I have to say, they weren't all good ways. You know, as much as I, I respect and idolize Bruce Lee, he, was, he, he actually made my life difficult as well because when I was growing up, I was saddled with this kind of notion that I must know Kung Fu or I must know martial arts because I'm Asian like Bruce Lee. And that's not a bad thing, that's kind of cool. I just, bucked, I just bucked at the idea that people would have uh, preconceived notions about me before they met me, you know? And I think um, that's the tricky part of, of having these guys as role models. Right now, I mean, I look at George Takei and I've been lucky enough to work with him and uh, you know, I've told him to his face how much I admired him and, and you know, I watched every episode of Star Trek, the original series, and I remember everything that he did. That said, my biggest role model growing up was not an actor. I mean, I think the person I admired the most was uh, Dan Inouye, uh, the senator from Hawaii. You know, I, uh, when I was maybe eight or nine, I remember my mom saying, do you know that there's someone, you know, who looks like us who's in government? Now that is, that is something where you can make a difference. And so I followed his career, you know, uh, since then. And I think he's one of the reasons I became interested in politics. And, uh, you know, one of the biggest thrills of my life was to be able to meet him and uh, spend time with him before his passing. Lost changed my life. I mean, it was really the, the, the show and the project that put me on the map. I'd done a lot of work previous to that. But, you know, I was a journeyman working actor. I was, I guess, recurring on four or five different shows at the same time on, on three different networks. But people kind of, nobody knew my name. They just kind of recognized me from around. Lost changed all that. Uh, the audition process for me was very straightforward. You know, a lot of a lot of the actors have really great stories about how JJ saw them doing this and had to create a role for them. It wasn't like that for me. Uh, they wanted to create uh, a foil for uh, Sun, and so uh, they were looking for uh, a, a guy who could speak Korean. In this town, there aren't that many of us. You know, so uh, I auditioned and. Uh, uh, I was actually contracted to go do a movie in Romania at the time that the pilot was shooting. So it actually became a really difficult casting process because uh, schedules had to be juggled around. And um, one of the many reasons I had to thank J.J. Abrams is because he actually uh, switched around the entire shooting schedule of the pilot of Lost so that I could do both projects. And it's nice to know that the work that I'm doing is having an impact on others uh, who are younger and are trying to do the same thing. I think that's one of the things that your organization does as well. You're trying to, to, to foster an environment where uh, artists and executives uh, of Asian descent can, can do something in the wake of what you've done already. So, um, and hopefully surpass what we've done. And that's, that's, really, that's really, I think, the goal, like to get, to get us to a place beyond where we are now. To, to ask these questions is really important, but what are the answers and what are you going to do with the answers to these questions that are the most important thing?